What's going on guys? This is the Technique of the Week. My name's Gina and I'm really happy that you tuned in. Today I thought it would be cool to talk about some scale sequences and some different uh, patterns that you can start adding into your playing. Um, when I say a scale sequence, all I mean is the order in which you're going to play the notes of a scale. And I know that that sounds really vague and confusing out of context, but it's really not too crazy once we start breaking it down and uh, I have a cool example of one of my favorite scale sequences that I like to practice, so we'll get into that. Um, I think that this stuff is really good whether you're a total beginner or whether you've been playing for a while and you just need some new stuff to think about, new stuff to throw into your toolbox of, of guitar stuff. Um, knowing these different uh, scale sequences is going to help with your ear. It's going to help your ear recognize some harmonic intervals. It's going to help with your phrasing when you're improvising or like writing a solo. Uh, even if you're writing like a vocal part or something like that, it's just like really good to know this stuff to add some intention to your playing so that you don't feel like you know all these like shred patterns or blues patterns or whatever. You know, it's, it's just going to give you some tools to be able to throw more of your own uh, expression into your playing, whether, again, you're improvising or, or writing something. So let's check it out. For this example, I want to use G major. So if you don't know the G major scale, let's just play through it real quick. I'm just going to play through one uh, octave of the G major scale. Here we go. So this is how I like to play the G major scale. This is something my guitar teacher showed me really early on when I was taking lessons, and uh, this is how I still play it. I just took the same exact scale, but I flipped it into a different voicing where I have these kind of repeated patterns on each string. So every two strings has this repeated pattern. And that makes going through it feel really fluid and it just feels like really satisfying to play through it in this way, for me personally. So all I'm doing here is I'm going three, five, seven on the E, and then on the A string I'm gonna go three, five, seven again. And then on D I'm gonna do four, five, seven, and then four, five, seven again on the G string. And then on the B I'm gonna go five, seven, eight, and then five, seven, eight again on E. So I have these like cool repeated patterns here. So when I want to go through it, it just feels really fun and kind of satisfying to just, uh, to have those motions repeat themselves. So that's just a really nice way to play a major scale. So let's do a sequence real quick. Um, let's take the scale and play it in thirds. So let me play that real quick for you. I just think it sounds really fluid, it's got a nice motion to it, and it sounds really musical. You know, I don't feel like I'm sitting here just playing through a, a scale shape, you know, feel it feels a little more just applicable. So if you wanted to do just like a pattern that's a little more straightforward, something else that I really like to do is just take this same pattern here that we're doing, the same scale. <laughs> just play through that like um, where we repeat each string twice so it's gonna make like a six note pattern so we're gonna go one two three one two three on each string <laughs> And I'm just alternate picking through that. So I'm going to start on a down pick. Up. Down. 
This is important to uh, point out because at the end of this six note phrase, when I'm coming back up, I'm gonna be starting my next string on a down. And that's gonna be really helpful in helping me uh, accent this phrase. So it really has that feeling of like, da 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 You know what I'm saying? So this is just uh, an example of working through some scale sequences, some patterns. Um, this is a whole world of stuff to get into when you're practicing. Uh, hopefully we can do some more lessons on this in the future, but for now, I hope that this was helpful and, uh, and that you can throw this into your playing. All right, thank you guys so much, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care. <laughs>